So you've conquered the single player and spec ops modes, but you're still getting owned in multiplayer? Well, I've got a bunch of tips for you that'll help you step up your game. The first of which is be patient. Take your time and be aware of your surroundings. You don't just want to barrel into the middle of a playing field. That's a good way to get yourself gunned down. Get comfortable with the game. Adjust your look sensitivity, your inversion, your controller vibration, anything that may affect the way you play. A higher look sensitivity isn't going to do you any good if you can't control it. Take it slow and be aware of what's around you. This goes double if you're trying to use a sniper rifle. There's nothing worse than zeroing your scope in on an enemy and then getting ganked from the back. Pick your weapons and build your class designed around what you're comfortable with. If you're going to hang back and keep out of danger, an assault rifle or even a sniper rifle might be better suited. Don't climb over any obstacles if you can avoid it. During the time you're climbing, you can't shoot your weapon or stab anybody, so it leaves you open and vulnerable. If you can find another way, use that. If there is no other way, wait until you're sure you're clear before you head over. Communicate with your teammates. If you don't have a headset, get one. A team that's not communicating will get thrashed by a team that is every single time. If you can't talk to your team, you are alone on the battlefield. The maps aren't huge, but there are enough hiding spots and sniper locations that knowledge of their layout is going to be extremely important. The maps are exactly the same in the survival mode of Spec Ops as they are in online multiplayer, so that's a great way to familiarize yourself with the layouts. High ground is definitely preferred over a low vantage point, but remember that the more enemies you can see, the more enemies can see you. It's important that you stay in motion. The kill cam is the great equalizer. It shows enemies where you were hiding when you killed them, so it eliminates the ability to camp out and get kill after kill. Once you knock off an enemy, get somewhere else. Travel around the perimeter of the map. If your back isn't exposed, no one can kill you from behind. If you're trying to defend a room but you're by yourself, put a claymore at the other entrance. Looking through your sight can help you hit enemies much more effectively, but it limits your visibility to the immediate area. Don't look through your sight till the last moment that it's absolutely necessary. Grenades, flashbangs, claymores, and other tactical diversions are definitely your friends. Grenades can obviously be used to clear out rooms or clusters of enemy forces, but you can also use them as a distraction, causing your enemy to turn towards it while you hit them from behind. Flashbangs and concussive grenades will temporarily stun and disorient your enemies. If you find out an enemy is using the same routes through the map repeatedly, you can use a claymore to set a trap for them. But keep in mind the same can be done for you, so it's to your advantage to find different paths.